Hey guys, look at this flower that I made. Today we're going to be talking about taking care of the world God gave us. Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas. And yeah, so I made this flower. Well, I didn't really make it, but I helped it grow and, and lots of other flowers too because my mom gave me this this patch in the garden, this area in the garden that I got to call my own. And I, I decided to grow some flowers in it. And it's actually, it was really hard work to grow flowers. I didn't realize how much work went into it, but you got to water them if it's not raining and you've got to take care of the weeds. You got to pull up the weeds so they don't choke up your little flowers. And you also got to look out for bugs too. Like if there's any bugs there, you got to you gotta spray for the bugs so they don't eat your flowers and then also sometimes if it gets too cold you got to go out at night and cover them up with a blanket or something so they don't freeze and uh, so it and it, it takes a long time to to grow flowers too a long time like it takes about a month uh, but you know after they're all grown then you've got these nice little flowers and uh, so I got these flowers and I, and I went and I gave them to a whole bunch of people. I gave one to my mom and I gave one to my dad and I gave one to the neighbor lady and I gave one to my Sunday school teacher. And I even gave one to my dog Roscoe, which it turns out was kind of a mistake. Because you see, everybody, when I gave them a flower, what they did was they were like, oh, Douglas, thank you for the flower. That's so nice. So, you know, they'd say something like that. And especially my mom, she she took the flower and she put it in a vase and she she put it up on the kitchen table and she, she gave it some plant food and some water and she put it in a nice spot. And that made me really happy when they took this thing that I made for them because it took me a long time and, and everybody was really ha glad to have it. But when I gave it to my dog, Roscoe, I... Uh, I called him in. I said, hey, Roscoe, boy, I got something for you. And he comes in. He's like, <laughs> and he walks up to me. And I say, here you go, Roscoe. I made you this flower. And he, he bites it in his mouth, which that's okay because, you know, he doesn't have thumbs, so he's got to pick things up with his mouth. So I didn't mind that he picked it up with his mouth. But he took it in his mouth, and then he went, <laughs> and petals were flying everywhere. There was flower stuff all over the place. And then he's just had a, a just the, the green part. And even that, he put it on the ground, and he stepped on it with one foot, and he pulled on it with the other foot and he ripped it in half and then he ate half of it and he didn't even like it so he kind of he threw it up on the floor and then he just walked away and I'm standing there and I'm just like why would you do that oh I was so mad at Wasker I was so sad I wasn't just mad I was sad because I made this nice thing for him I made this nice flower but well okay so it wasn't this flower because this flower still looks good but it was a different flower and and I felt so bad that he took this thing I made for him and he just he just destroyed it and uh, that made me not feel very happy about this nice thing I'd given him you know God made a gift for us just kind of like I made this flower for my friends and my family. God made a gift for us, and that is the earth. The whole planet earth, the whole world God made for us. Yeah, he made it just for people. He made it just for us. He, he gave us air to breathe and water to drink and plants and animals and all kinds of awesome things to look at, like mountains and forests and oceans and, and all kinds of cool stuff. He gave us this awesome world to live in and to take care of, but sometimes we don't do a very good job. Sometimes we waste what he gave us. Sometimes we make it all nasty. And sometimes we just act like we don't even care about what he gave us. You know, we just stay inside all day and we never go outside and we don't see the cool stuff God made us. And when we do all that stuff, it's like we're a Wasco. And God is like, here you go, everyone. I made you this beautiful world. And we take it and we say, oh, thank you, God. And we take the world in our mouth and we go, rawr, 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 rawr. and then we throw it up on the ground. But that's not what we should be like. We should not be like Wasco. We should be like my mom and take very good care of the thing that God made us. And so how, how can we take care of the world that God gave us? Well, one of the ways that we can take care of the world is by recycling. You know, sometimes some of the stuff that we throw away, it doesn't have to go in the garbage. It doesn't have to go stay in the dump because there's some stuff like plastics and paper and things where they can take it to a place and they can melt it down or chop it down and, and make it into something new. And that way it doesn't just go sit at a dump. Another thing that you can do is just not waste stuff. You know, God gave us this earth. He gave us all these things, all these resources that we can use, but there's only so much of it. So like when we turn on the lights, that's using up resources that God gave us. So one of the things you can do is not waste electricity and don't waste water because it takes energy to make the water clean to drink and clean to, you know, take a bath in and wash the dishes and things like that and brush your teeth. So 
when you are using water, don't waste it. When you're using light, don't waste it. Well, any kind of electricity, don't just leave things on and running. Another thing that you can do is don't litter. Litter is when you take some garbage that you've got and instead of throwing it in the trash can like you're supposed to, you just throw it on the ground because you don't want to deal with it. You don't want to go find a trash can. It might not seem like a big deal, you know, just throw one bubblegum wrapper on the ground, but if enough people do that, then we're swimming in bubblegum wrappers and that's no good. And you can do your part to make things better by not littering. So if you're done with your candy wrapper, don't just throw it out the window, but throw it in the garbage so that it'll go where it needs to go. Another thing you can do is, well, I mean, anything else, anything you can think of to help make the world a more beautiful place. You know, you could plant a garden or you could pick up trash, even if it's not your trash. You can go, like, ask a park ranger if there's something you can do at your local park. There's all kinds of things that you can do to help make the world a better place and show God that we are grateful and thankful for the awesome things that God gave us. You might not be able to totally change the world, but you can take care of the little bit of the world that God gave you. So that's my challenge is that we would, we'd be grateful grateful to God and we'd show him that we're thankful for what he gave us and take care of the awesome world he made just for us. Well, I'm going to go put this flower in a vase, but I hope that you will remember that God loves you so much that he gave you the whole earth and we should take care of it. Bye guys. Well, hey, thanks for watching this video. I hope you liked it a lot. Um, I make a new video every Monday where I share how I'm learning about God's plan for me and also for you. And also, if you really like these videos and you believe in what I'm doing and, and you want to help me make more videos, um, there's this website called Patreon.com. Com. And if you go to patreon.com slash Douglas Talks, it'll take you to my Patreon page and it'll show you how you can help support this ministry and how you can help me make even more videos. And, you know, it's only through God's grace and the generosity of some awesome, awesome people like you that, that I can make these videos. So thank you so much for watching and being such a cool and supportive group of people. God bless you guys. Bye.